about all of you out there, but I have to admit, I am feeling rather conflicted over Floyd Landis' recent admission to using performance-enhancing drugs. I mean, let's face it, the guy is not a very sympathetic figure in the least. He spent several years and over a million dollars in borrowed funds defending himself against allegations of cheating during his winning run at the 2006 Tour de France. But now that his appeals have been denied and the money is long gone, his story suddenly changes. Not only does he admit to using steroids and blood doping, but he has also accused numerous others in the sport of doing the same thing, including seven-time champion Lance Armstrong. And this is where I begin to feel conflicted. Because we all love Lance's story of survival. To go from death's door to the pinnacle of the sports world is nothing short of miraculous. And who amongst us doesn't want to believe in a miracle from time to time? But here's the thing. Even though Armstrong never once tested positive, it seems so far-fetched that in the dirtiest of sports, he would be the only one to play by the rules. Bottom line, as an admitted liar, there is every reason in the world to discredit what Floyd Landis has to say. And though my heart wants to believe Armstrong, my gut tends to believe Landis.